four, three, two, one. <clears throat> level up. Level up. Level up. Okay. <laughs> Are there other words? Uh, I don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what song was I about to sing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you and I must make a pact. We must bring salvation back. Where there's what? Where there is love. Be I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Skipping some shit. Uh, and what you gonna do? I'll be there to protect you. And build what? With an unselfish oh. love that respects you. <laughs> Just look on your shoulders, honey. Ooh. Uh, he says shoulders. Uh, what's up, y'all? Wait, wait. <laughs> Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. It feels like we ain't been in here in a minute, but it's kind of because we haven't been here in a minute. Um, mm-hmm. It's been like a whole month or so. And um, it was a beautiful, rainy morning in L.A. Yeah. I was very excited about that. I was uh, hyped. Um, oh, but hey, oh, oh yeah. No, I'm Tim Chantha Rongsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blades. Clearly, we forgot. Uh, do we do that in the beginning? I can't remember. Uh, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. You yeah, what's welcome up? Welcome back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, what's up, y'all? It's a beautiful day in L.A. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chatharongsu. I'm Ricky Shuck. I'm Nikki Blade. Man, it was a uh, rainy morning in LA, and I was very, very excited about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it hasn't rained in a while, yeah. and I rem- I was waking up, and um, and I was like, oh, this is nice. And then it stopped raining. And then it stopped- I got excited. <laughs> I hate the rain. <laughs> not even a little dose like we had this I'm, morning? I'm not a fan of the rain. Damn. I mean, I know it's necessary, so yeah. I appreciate the rain, but I don't like it. I don't like the wind. It was super windy downtown. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah, I could do without the wind. Rain is cool. No rain is fine. The wind got to go. I just, I, I like, um, you know, here's the thing. I, I don't like the rain for longer than like three days. Mm. I, I like a nice little gloomy session out here because we, we rarely get it. And then and then if it's more than like three or four days, I'm like, God, what the fuck? I, Seattle is like, man, suck my... <laughs> right now. That's a lot of people watching right now, like three days in a row? <laughs> Say, oh, you don't get enough bloom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um, I also like the way... Do you, do you like the smell of wet concrete? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, fresh rain. Yes, off the roads. Fresh Fuck. that it's that what that wet ass yes. concrete. That's right. <laughs> and uh, if you want to cook some Chinese food, you know <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of um, the roads after rain. Fresh cut grass and gasoline smells good too. I mean, not, we're not taking it straight to the head, like <sighs> smelling it, but for some some reason, like those when you three, take it out, yeah. Yeah, and it drip on your shoe a little bit. Just a little bit, bit and, and it sits in the car. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I really am so happy I don't smoke. Yeah, and then when you accidentally get on your fingers and you scratch your nose, dig in your nose, <laughs> and you're like, damn, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? You're not you're not the first person I've heard say that, yeah. that they enjoy the smell of gasoline. Right. Um, is it is it gasoline that's actually unscented and they add the scent so you know it's there? I have no there's, idea. Wow. There's some toxic fume, either gasoline or... Um, I don't know something else that'll kill carbon you. Carbon monoxide that's, has no smell. Yeah, has no smell. That's okay. Yeah. There, there's something. Maybe it's gasoline. If viewers, correct me if I'm wrong. I know you will, but it's <laughs> actually unscented, and they add a scent to it. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, so you know, bro. One time, fart. Fart. What? <laughs> that's, what? That's the gas. They had a scent to it. like, and you repeated it. <laughs> it was like, hey, what did we just Because, you know, they teach you an improv to say yes and. Always acknowledge what the other person says. Yes, you're right. And here's the thing. Um, but um, uh, one time, bro. Uh, so Chia grew up with electric stove. Mm-hmm. Never had a gas stove. Um, all right? I know where this is going. And so one day at the condo. Mm-hmm. Um, I woke up and I was like, oh shit, we left the gas on all night. Mm-hmm. What, like, you know, and then I turned it off and like five minutes later, she was like, all right, I'm gonna make some eggs. And I was like, wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? I was like, the whole shit could blow up. Yeah. She was like, really? I was like, yes, man. 
and she had no idea. Yeah. And I'm like, you ain't watch movies? <laughs> <laughs> like, and we don't have these problems <laughs> where I'm from. And I didn't know. And look, and here's the thing. I, in my head, I was like, okay, maybe that's just a movie thing. Maybe that's just not real. Yeah, but nah. then I Googled it. It's yeah, a real thing. Yeah, nah, it's real. Really? Um, real. Somebody, I'm not going to name any names, left the gas on last night in my place. <laughs> well, you, got, say who. you got a lot of roommates <laughs> yeah. now, right? Hey, move some people I'll in. Let, I'll let y'all assume. <laughs> 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 but I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I was so like, how? <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> what? I've asked, I don't know what I was doing, but that happened to me i want to say like last month but i mm. didn't cook anything and i had noticed that the knob would turned a little bit and i think what happened was oh, <laughs> something because i could smell it and that was the first thing i did i went straight to the stove and i was like i didn't make anything what is this but i'm so happy i know the smell because yeah. we would all be dead if we didn't yeah have have uh we told you guys the story of um when my gas went out and i was uh struggling to find food and then I found a way to cook my food. Have we told you this story about the hot dogs? I don't know this story. All right, well, let's tell it again. And if I just forgot it, let's just yeah. go one more time. And it, was, it wasn't your gas. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're yeah. right. Okay, okay, okay. So here's what happened, right? I'm in my condo, living by myself, right? As I did for like five, six years. My power was out. And I'm like, fuck, I'm so hungry, can't microwave shit, can't, you know, the fridge, but yeah, I, I'm like, I got no power, I'm hungry, so then I got, I, but then I realized my fireplace still works, right, because that's gas, I'm like, oh, dope, so I had these little um, bacon-wrapped hot dogs, I'm like, about to just have me a little roast, you know what I'm saying, like, little, little, uh, by the fire, uh, hot dog situation, so I, like, get a chopstick, Put the little bacon wrap hot dog on the thing. Cook it up a little bit in in pitch black. Um, don't think I cooked it enough, uh, <laughs> but it, it did the trick. I definitely had a little uh, poop right afterwards, but I was I was good, right? <laughs> Texted Rick, hype. I'm like, bro, I'm so smart, dog. Guess what I just did, son? I fucking you know how my power's out. I was mad hungry, so cooked the hot dog on the fireplace. Rick was like, you know your your stove still works. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, wait, you got a, you got an electric stove? He's like, no. I was like, your stove works. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, oh damn. So the funny. only thing that, we, I, yep, no. But did you feel? Uh, but you felt accomplished though, right? Man, I feel like I'm, I'm like, he I'm roughed a, it right there. Yeah, I was, I'm a, indoor. I'm a, I'm a guyver, homie. I found a, I'm a survivor and a MacGyver. <laughs> Throw me on naked and afraid. I got this. <laughs> oh shit. Do but, you ever watch those shows and go, oh, I totally would be able to uh, like be able to survive? Or do no, you see them and be like, nah. I watch I watch them like, all right, I'm never going to the wilderness. <laughs> I cannot do that. It the, the shit'll have you thinking that though. Yeah. <laughs> It'll have you thinking I could do this shit. Yeah. Especially the fan episodes are only two weeks, not three weeks. Yeah. So you'd be thinking like could do that you can't live in your backyard for one week <laughs> <laughs> you can't do but that they always set up the fan episodes to like be a little easier they're always like right next to a free falling waterfall so yeah. they got a water source you know what i'm saying and like it's always like oh damn we right next to a coconut tree <laughs> oh, there's a lighter bush over there. <laughs> <laughs> i love watching the ones where they talk about what actually happened they're like yes i had extreme diarrhea for three days and they yeah. had to rush me uh off recording because i was gonna die and people are like you can die of that like, damn you die from shitting <laughs> right gotta just make your booty hole hurt. And you drink too much coconut water oh yeah yeah, yeah really? they don't yeah. yeah it was one bro it was so it was so funny it was this guy he went in on some fucking fruit that he had found that was laying around but it had it was fruit that um and he he he's picked it up he was like oh it smells 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 kind of like alcohol he went in, fucking like bit into that shit, ate the whole thing, and it was fermented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he got fucking drunk. Yeah. So then he was walking back to his little camp with his knife, like swinging it. He's like, oh man, I feel, I feel drunk. <laughs> Laid down, knocked the fuck out for like a day. Oh God. And, uh, yeah, no, he was out, bro. Woke up, he was like, oh shit. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like hungover right now. It was That's crazy. Yeah, no way. No survivor for me. Prison one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, for real. I would never do any of those shows. No. no. I, 
I start itching. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, yo. <laughs> it's the bugs for me. It's the bugs. It's the mosquitoes. It's the sleeping in the uh, nan. And, oh, oh my, dick, my I'm god. Out. <laughs> yeah. It was um. It, it's not not only the bugs, but it's also the uh. You know, you know me, dog. Like if my if my undercarriage feels disgusting, mm. I just I get cranky. You yeah. know, I just don't like life. I don't like my situation. I, I, I um, yeah, I need to get yeah. out. And then, you know, when you're by the ocean and you try to rinse off in the ocean, you're just covered in salt water. Yeah. That just feels gross. Yeah, no, Maybe I would. Salt. Yeah, I would pass. Y'all ever pee in the ocean? Yeah. I'm scared. That something's going to call in your dick hole? Yeah. Yes. Stupid. Your mom lies and tells you that that's going to happen and then you scare your whole life. <laughs> I'm afraid of lakes. Like lakes and stuff like that. Still water, I don't, I really don't mess with. I feel you. Because that's where really the stuff that's going to swim it's up in your pee-pee hole. Mm-hmm. That's gross. Man. So, it like, so, are, are, are you a person that mosquitoes are drawn to? Uh, I... Mm, I wouldn't say yes or no. It's like it happens, it happens. But it's not like, oh, I step outside and I'm the one that's getting eaten up. Mm. Rick? Not really. Mosquitoes fucking love me. Gross. Like they love What's your me. blood type? I don't know. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. <laughs> um, not nah, like they really do love me. And um, like where, where, where I'll be chilling at my parents' house for dinner. And they just be fucking leaving their doors open. Mosquitoes all in that shit. Yeah. And then as, I'll be chilling. For like five minutes, immediately I'm bit up three, four times. And my dad's like, I'm fine. I'm like, Dad, how many times I gotta tell you? I got special blood. Yeah. The mosquitoes love me. I don't know. Love shouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> but it does. Love hurts. We all know it does. I and I remember being in Thailand, right, as a little kid, going for the first time, and mosquitoes lit my ass up, literally, too. My ass, my every part of me, to the point where like my parents would cover me in repellent, except maybe they miss my eye, motherfucker bit my eye. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And I remember specifically, I remember this shit like it was yesterday, being four or five years old, and they and I definitely had some bug bites in my asshole too, right? Ooh. And like, how yeah, yeah. how are you sleeping? Like, <laughs> like you sleep this? holding your ass shit, yeah, bro. Like, exactly. like a walk. Maybe when I was taking a shit, they zoomed <laughs> up in there because I remember like, like this. This is really in there. No, I remember I had calamine lotion, a like in like, and I had to hold my ass open for the calamine lotion to dry. And I was in front of a fan so the shit would dry it off. And I was laying there. And I had my ass cheeks open like this with the calamine lotion. And then the whole, the reality of the situation hit me and I started bawling, crying. And I'm like holding my ass open. I was like, and I started crying. And my cousin was like, Auntie, Tim's crying. Wait, why was he there? I don't like, know. To make like sure I was okay. Balls and ass out. That's well, my older cousin. Drying I out. Guess, he was just, here. I guess he was making sure to like, just make sure I was good. Just like, yeah, asshole. It's safe. I, yes. Is it, yeah. is it dry yet? <laughs> right? What oh, the yeah. fuck? So I'm screaming, crying. He, and uh, yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah, that doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I feel, I feel like though. there's a couple, I feel like there's a couple other ways you could have gotten into that with I mean, to sit holding your legs up. Man, but. I was four years old. That's what they told me to do. That's what I did. That's what I did. And I, I, yeah, so mosquitoes love me. Wow. How loose was, were your shorts? <laughs> <laughs> like, was that the last time you ever had to put ointment in your butt? Yes. We talked about my hemorrhoid, though, right? On here? I don't think You so. mentioned it on your Instagram. I may have not. Or, no, wait. I think I've heard you had one, but I don't know how. What's up, y'all? You know, do you feel funny? Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? I know. It's it's kind of a crazy time right now. The news is wild. The world is a crazy place. We're all cooped up in our houses. But BetterHelp will help assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, okay? You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is a professional counseling situation done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available which may not be locally available in many areas and the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy, all right? Sometimes it's good to just talk to somebody. Have that communication option, you know what I'm saying? So you can visit betterhelp.com slash T-I-M. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over one million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states, all right? Special offer for 
for No Chaser listeners, you get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Tim, all right? That's 10% off your first month, BetterHelp.com slash T-I-M. You know what? Sometimes taking care of your skin can be difficult. You know, we don't all have time. We don't know what to do. The routines are crazy. I don't know what to do with myself. But here's the cold hard truth, all right? Your skin has needs. If you want to look as good as possible, and Lord knows I do for as long as possible, you need to address them now, all right? And we get it. You might not know where to start, but there's a company that's taking all the guesswork out of it for you, and that's Lumen, all right? Lumen is on a mission to give men the amazing skin they deserve through high-quality, expert-created products delivered right to your door. All of their products are formulated specifically for men's skin and made to target skin issues with maximum efficiency using top-notch ingredients like charcoal, green tea extract and vitamin C. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good. You need good skin health, especially as you get older to prevent long-term damage, okay? Now, I got y'all, check this out. I got a special treat for you guys. You deserve to look and feel your best, and here's where to start, okay? Go to lumenskin.com slash no chaser to get a one month Free trial of everything you need to start your skincare journey at home. That's lumenskin.com slash no chaser to get your first month free. Lumenskin.com slash no chaser. Oh man, um, I think I just had it. So I don't I Can don't, you explain what a hemorrhoid is? First to- of all, first of all, I recently found out that I had a hemorrhoid. Um, <laughs> and I didn't know that I had Anal sex one. gives you that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, when you put things up your butt. <laughs> um I, I was I was taking a boo boo like I normally do, mm-hmm. and I wiped one day, and I was like, "That's a, that's blood. That is a that is blood there." It like, and it wasn't like a a little bit like when you just wipe too much blood. Mm-hmm. It was like, "Hmm, that is a that is that is more blood than t- should be there, right?" And I was like, and I you know I I took a shit, and I was like, "Babe, you know I had a little blood on my on my toilet paper, like more more than usual." And then um. She was she's concerned immediately. She's very, you know, paranoid about things. And then I had a residual poo right afterwards. Oh, oh and then I told her when I looked in the toilet, I seen a little blood. Mm. And um, uh, shout out to everybody eating while watching this, too. <laughs> uh, make sure you get seconds for this next part. Uh, and I seen a little blood in the toilet. And she was like, all right, when you when you take another shit, I want to see. Right. So I took a residual. It was a little bit of blood. It was it was she's lit- ready for motherhood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, it was literally a tiny, a tiny bit on the residual poo. She came in. She was like, oh. Oh my god that is so much blood you're going to the doctor like, oh. first of all that's a little bitty bit of blood tripping. but i was like i'll make an appointment anyways right so and so a hemorrhoid if you don't know it's like a basically like a little um a little a little if you could imagine like a uh a, a pimple or a, a bigger like a little wart that pops up when you are either like pushing too hard or it's like um I always thought Wasn't it was. A blood, it's not a blood. Vessel. I always thought I it was know. like some of the inside is coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so it's it's like well, it's like it's like a bump because it's not a pimple where there's there's not like pus in it, but the, yeah, there's blood in it, okay. and like yeah, um, so they can be on the inside and they can be on the outside. Okay. All right. So, and, um, but I was like, I don't have to push super hard like my, my poops are pretty regular so i don't know why i would have a hemorrhoid but also i read that if you poop for too long it could happen because i'd be chilling mm-hmm. i'd be chilling for like a good hour you know what i'm saying gravity yeah i just i just let the shit happen oh no not gravity <laughs> my asshole isn't just falling <laughs> <laughs> no i'm so saying you're, sit- the poop just- you're sitting there long enough gravity that's oh yeah why- shit happens yeah 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 uh, so <laughs> just like gravity, them blood vessels just drooping, man. <laughs> Tim just in there, they're like, "Oh, he, we gonna be here for another hour. Let's, uh, you know, let's come out and play a little bit." But yeah, so I got the, so I, I go to the doctor to get checked out. Um, so you go back into the position that, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Okay. So I'm at the doctor, and she's like, "All right, well, just so you know, um, I, I'll, I'm just gonna be checking the outside, not the inside." I said, "Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> the Lord." Psych. Um, <laughs> It's like bitch. Bah. Uh, <laughs> Tim's crying in the corner. Just yeah. like, what happened? Or, uh, or I don't want to like, talk about it. Oh my god! Finally, ever experienced it before. <laughs> Tears of joy. Yeah. No, but she. So she has me curl up in the fetal position on my side, mm. with you know, and then and then I feel her like open my butt up, and then and then this is what she does. She goes, huh? And there's a hemorrhoid right there and she like taps it with her index finger (laughs) and um yeah she's seeing a a a little one she's like yeah you got a little one there she's like it's um it luckily it's it like it it wasn't a big one that's why it it didn't like hurt Mm. she just told me to basically like soak take some baths and uh you already do that 
I know, but like just soak soak longer, I guess. Like warm water. But you water. already do that. Not really. No, I wash my ass a lot in the tub. I don't <laughs> in, a, in a soaking position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soak. I don't be just so- soaking. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I'm good now. With Epsom salt? No, she's like she's just in warm water. You should be good. But I had a home girl. My bad. What were you about to say? I have questions. Yes. What's the question? Because you said she poked it with her index finger, right? So you could feel what's going on back there. Did she spread your cheeks with one hand, like, and like then- this? Like, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> like she just like, like you like zooming up on a bigger <laughs> yeah. like this one's on one cheek this one's on a cheek so one. now that you say that I, I, <laughs> I, I yeah I doubt that it was a double hand spread. yeah it could have been if she had my yeah. hand free to do that I think it was a uh, open the top one up. <laughs> and a and a poke oh, with the bottom end. The top one. It's like yeah. when you check the oil, just yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Lift, See, like, lift up the hood a little bit. Don't go like this and just kind of, oh my God. Kind of peel. <laughs> she just wedges her elbow in there. <laughs> <laughs> she calls in for backup. Excuse me, we're gonna need assistance with this. There's a lot going on. It's a- nah, but I had a homegirl who um. So when she heard about my hemorrhoid when I posted on Instagram. She showed you hers. No. I wish, brother. <laughs> no, nah, she uh, texted me. She was like, dude, I get them so bad. I get hemorrhoids the size of cherries. Ew. I was like, bitch, overshare. I was like, ah, oh, nah, you can't overshare with me. We good. That's yeah. unsolicited. But you know what? She probably does a lot of anal. No, she said she gets crazy constipated oh. to the point where she takes laxatives, all that shit. Oh, now, bro, oh I'm sorry. That's... Oh, wait, I remember this story. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, because she's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. It's some hard ass poops. That's, what... that's it. <laughs> really? Huh? Well, then I am not an alcoholic then. Well, no, that, no, I, I, I didn't know that was... The alcohol shits the next day. Yeah. Vodka diet. I was real I was real thin for a while. So, uh, 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 no hemorrhoids for you, Nikki Blades? Mm-mm, my ass is fine. Thanks for asking, though. Yeah, make sure... Ne- Pussroids. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Just say it again. Pussroids. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I was listening to the No Chaser podcast, and they said I have <laughs> puss roids. Those things. <laughs> those, those things. You said they were herpes. They're puss They're roids. Puss roids. <laughs> like, nah, Rick baby, told me. Don't worry, babe. I I didn't give you herpes. Those, those are puss roids. <laughs> my, my dad the next week <laughs> would, would text me in the little family group chat and be like, "How's Roy?" And I was like, "Who?" You named it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever had hemorrhoids, but there used there was a time wherever y'all would make me eat sushi, okay. my poop after would burn and bleed. Uh, so I would just put Preparation H just in case it was a hemorrhoid. Oh, wow. yeah. And you just but had I never that got on check. Deck? No, I bought it because I was like, oh. uh, you know, you do your Googling. I'm like, oh, do I have a hemorrhoid? Eh, time to get Preparation H. Huh. That shit hurts. Ooh. What? Putting preparation really? H like burn? Cause isn't it tightening? It 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 fucking hurt. It burns so bad. Interesting. Yeah. Um. When, so I stopped eating sushi. Oh, like but the, the raw shit is what you think did it? I think so. But then eventually nothing does that anymore. So I don't know what it was. Huh. Man, Tway changed you, dog. Uh, nah. Before her, ah. it stopped happening. No. Oh, don't melt, bitch. <laughs> 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 you hear that? <laughs> I don't mean, She a little late. <laughs> I uh, tried to jag She's off. Like, oh, really? I tried to jag off the Ben Gay when I was younger, and that was not oh. good. Oh, yeah. Like you know, you know, you kind of you hit that stage of your life when you just try to jerk off with everything yeah. and anywhere. You just men when we first discovered jagging off, it's just kind of like, what can I use? Yes, what can I use? What can I put my dick in that might feel good? What's good? Yeah, what's gonna make this feel a little different? And yeah. Ben Gay, it has a little tingle, sort of like oh. icy hot. So you understand fits. the thought process? Oh, yeah, so it's, it's like, like the oh, warming. My gonna tingle. It's like the warming stuff that they put on the condom. Yes, yeah. got it. So okay. That was my thought process of like it might be a little tingly right yeah. but that's it right there bro, <laughs> bro. that's not a, a little the, tingle. The tiger bone yeah it's like that mm-hmm. oh Dick, dicks are confusing because okay. you think they're tougher than the rest right mm. like it feels like it's some tough skin going on down there but then you find out in the worst way is how sensitive that shit is. It's, like, it's like your eye sensitive bro <laughs> yeah wow you, <clears throat> Put some old spice deodorant on your dick, <laughs> on your balls. Watch it, bro. Yes, bro. Not great. This really? shit, it burns. Let me tell you, I I didn't even get a stroke in before I was like, oh, <laughs> straight to the bathtub. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, uh, speaking of barely getting a stroke in, that reminded me we had we had a homie in high school. 
<laughs> this is back when we used to have to masturbate with tapes, like cassette tapes. Uh, like Wait. put it through the loop. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about <laughs> okay. watch them. Oh. Wait, watch cause like VHS? VHS, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was like cassette tape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. But VHS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause I got Tim, <laughs> I got Rick's visual. I was like, like damn, no. That's you sad. <laughs> it's so sad. You, it, you put you take it in, you rewind it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, you're listening to it? You're like having oh to listen God. to it. Yeah, part. you gotta get in the mood. <laughs> oh, you and your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be both holes at well, one. Well, one homie has to push play on the thing. <laughs> so, All right, so y'all so, was jacking off. <laughs> Just together. Nah, so our, our boy, um, he told me the story of like how the homie gave him this VHS of a porn mm-hmm. and he was so hyped to watch it. It was in his backpack all day, right? So he finally gets home <laughs> anticipating this shit and he was like, man, as soon as I push play, I nut it. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. He's so excited. I'm going to go home, going to go home. Gonna I would have been so sad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> So these goodie sweatshirts will be available <laughs> very soon. Uh, they say Coochie instead of Gucci. Goodiebrand.com. Cute. I wore a, I wore the Coochie t-shirt when I did mm-hmm. that mukbang with Saweetie. And a lot of people like didn't even notice it, yeah. it said Coochie. They thought it just said Gucci until that one person was like, LOL, his shirt. And yeah. then they, you know, and then they, then realized. they all caught on. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Me too. So far. I like we haven't we even that. dropped it yet. We haven't even dropped it yet. Dropping soon. Probably dropping this month. Stay tuned <laughs> for that. Coochie. Um, <laughs> but it's so annoying to, to while we're on that subject. Um, so Saweetie, who's been like loving the goodie shit we sent her, mm-hmm. has been rocking that shit. Um, and uh, so she posted it on Twitter, right? And immediately they got someone bootlegging our shit. Damn, yeah. that's how you know you made it. <laughs> I guess so. It's it's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Like not just like oh the same idea. It's like they took our picture, <laughs> damn, and reposted it. And they cut it out, put it on a different background, and reposted it. How are y'all even gonna make it? You stupid idiot! I don't, you don't get have it. to. Yeah, like they're just they're taking people's money, bro. You know what it's gonna be? It's, it's gonna not be. on their Instagram. I I don't know what the fuck. I, I know what they're gonna do because I've I have this shirt. I have a Tupac shirt that I love. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. It says trust nobody. I bought it. Either at like an Urban Outfitters or, or a Hot Topic, some shit like that years ago. I love that shirt, but it has a little stain on it now. It's a white t-shirt. So I've always, every so often, I'll get online Googling, trying to find this shirt. So I've found people that looks like, oh, okay, they're reprinting this shit, right? Oh, maybe, maybe it's the same shit. I buy it. And bro, it's literally like I feel like they just got the picture off Google and mm-hmm. used that as the print. So yeah. like quality's trash, the image is smaller, it's whack. Yeah. And like that's what they're doing. Yeah. I almost want to order one to see what it comes out. Yeah, low key. Yeah, you should. That this is why I used to be like, it has to have goodie somewhere visible mm. and all the shit. And y'all used to fight me. But this was it. This was the exact reason why. Because yeah. if they're gonna steal some shit. It's going to have to say what it is right there. Yeah. But whatever. Y'all can have that one. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks nice. Feels nice. Yeah. 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 I got to wear it. I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Looks nice. Look good. Yo, it's never too early to start Christmas shopping, as you can see. And I got some perfect stocking stuffers for y'all, all right? Today, you can save on a gift they'll use every day. And I'm talking about Raycon wireless earbuds, okay? I, for one, love the Raycon earbuds. I, they fit snugly into my ear. I really like the bass that comes with them things. You know, a lot of the little earbuds don't have the bass that the Raycons have, you know? Uh, with seamless Bluetooth pairing and a comfortable noise isolating fit, you can start listening right away and keep listening for hours. The audio quality is amazing, comparable to what you get from other premium brands, except Raycon start at half the price. Oh my God, it's lit. So this holiday season, get them something they can use for calls, for music, for work, and for play at home or on the go. And pick yourself up a pair. Trust me. Trust me. You're going to use them every day. I do. I use them when I go take a little jog around the track. I use them when uh, Chia's asleep next to me and I, and I need to edit and I don't want her to hear uh, my OnlyFans videos that I'm watching. <laughs> Go to buyraycon.com slash nochaser today and unlock exclusive deals. I'm talking about up to 20% off your Raycon order. But hurry! This offer is available for a limited time only and you don't want to miss it. That's buyraycon.com slash nochaser to unlock up to 20% off your Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash nochaser. And by the way, we're bringing these Christmas sweaters back 
Where the ho ho hoes at? Goodybrand.com in three different colors. You know, we all some hoes out here, men and women. Use a hoe, I'm a hoe. Where the ho ho hoes at? Dropping on Black Friday, Goodybrand.com. I, I like that we uh, started leaning into our sense of humor a little more. Yeah. Like, so many people just try to be so cool. Yeah. But we're funny. Yeah, we never tried to be cool. Yeah. But we never really been us until here recently yeah i feel that i feel that a lot of people will ask speaking of like you know not trying to be cool i don't think we've ever talked about this on the podcast a lot of people ask us why the name is goody brand Mm. and um so like years ago do you know this story nikki blake no i don't so years ago never care to ask we're getting all (laughs) new ones years ago years and years ago because goody's like what 2012 yeesh uh uh, we were presented with the opportunity to start a clothing brand mm-hmm. um, through another company. And they asked, you know, you know, what would we call it? So we're kind of going over ideas. And I was like, hey, man, you know, and th- this was when everybody was like, I felt like there was a whole wave of people really trying to be like um, either like evil or bad. Mm-hmm. Like it was like vandals or um, uh, mis- young and reckless, young and reckless <laughs> shit like that. Everyone was like, I'm bad boy. Yeah, I'm rebellious. So yeah. I was like, man, me and Rick have never tried to be what we're not. We never tried to be thugs. We never tried to be like hard. Uh, we're just who we are, right? To the point where people would call us corny, mm-hmm. call us goody goodies. Uh-huh. And I was like... Fat sometimes. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I have yet... Actually, I've gotten that too. Yeah, I call you fat. <laughs> Yeah, my wife too. Um, the people and my mom. The people that love me the most have called me fat. I think that's that's the uh, the benchmark for love. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's where it came from. You know, just us being like embracing the. All right, you you want to call us like like we're like we're goody, then that's what we are. You we're know? good dudes. We're just we're just nice boys. And we're not ashamed of it. That's good. Yeah. I like it. And you're you're dropping some merch as well. I am. I just brought some samples. I brought some samples today and you guys have been doing it and I've asked before. Like I've talked yeah. to you guys before about I was supposed to do it for you. Well we were, we, we I remember talking <laughs> You didn't call her fat. You didn't call me mm, fat, so sorry, I know you fat didn't ass, care. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you say fat ass, I'm like what? No, 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 not that way. No? Shit. You know that's a compliment. We were like, she got a fat ass. You are a not ah, you have damn. A. Shit. I was <laughs> I was real confident for a second. I started eating carbs again, waiting for that compliment to come. But um, but yeah, getting into getting into the merch game, I feel like everybody's touched on it at one point or another in their careers. Yeah. And I stepped away because kind of like what you said, I didn't want to put out whack shit and I didn't want it to be like everybody else's. So it took time to find uh, the right people for me where I'm located. So um, I got put in touch with this guy. His name is Chang and it's with um, Sock Company, SOK. And we just dropped some of the samples and I'm really excited because it's, qual- I wanted to put out quality. And the main thing was, I think a lot of girls, because I've worked with plenty of companies that slap, you know, a half naked version of you on a shirt and sell it and call it a day, which I'm all for because I have mine. I love them. But I wanted something that I know that my mom could wear. And that was the main thing is I got nieces now and my mom kind of complained about not being able to wear any of my merch so so i finally went did you know did my due diligence created a logo came up with a concept you know working on packaging and i really want to put out something that when it gets sent out you guys will look at it and be like she didn't just do one-offs and print something janky so i'm, I'm actually really excited about it thanks you guys it, it is inspiring to see a lot of the stuff because when people talk to me they're like yeah tim and rick have been doing so many other things besides television youtube and they know about the behind the scenes stuff so i like to do as many things as i can mediocre instead of focusing (laughs) on one thing and being really good at yeah you know right (laughs) yeah right i I, live for the middle the middle yeah it's like put that on the shirt somewhere (laughs) (laughs) that would be good but yeah a lot because a lot of people always you, you see they're like oh yeah mid don't under don't over so i wanted to make sure i could put out because how could i bring something to you guys or bring it on here they'd be like yo nikki shit is whack that would be embarrassing y'all would be like oh this is so nice i'm so gonna wear it (laughs) she should have just yeah nikki got us a hat (laughs) the first thing i did was like rick did you see this put this on your head rick's off 
like, oh, you just, don't like Tim, it. Tim, how come the only time I see you wearing a shirt is when you're at the gym or doing... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called yeah. out. Have you guys ever had a company send you something? Or a homie. I'm going to use... it. I'm not going to say a company. I'm going to say like a homie. And it's normally the one-off shirts that they just kind of throw out there because they want to get some change. And, and then they press for you to wear it. And then for me, I am one that uses those shirts in the gym. Like mm -hmm. I legit will use them and I'll really like them. But I cut the sleeves off of everything. Okay. One time I cut the sleeves off of this shirt, still posted the picture, rocked it my way. And they were like, you're so disrespectful. I what? can't believe you would cut our shirt like uh, that. And I'm all, first off, I wasn't going to wear this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever had anything like that where people kind of come at you because of how you wear their product? No. But on the flip side, <laughs> good. Um, when we, we used to uh, gift the, the uh, popular friends mm. shit, right? And we kind of learned like that's pointless because if you're not paying them, yeah. they're not going to yeah. give you what you want post-wise. Right. But this one girl, I remember we gave her one of our more expensive pieces. It had appliques on it. It was it wasn't like a regular blank. It was it was some shit that we actually spent some money on. And the only time I saw her wear it, her caption was like bumming it to something. <laughs> something. I was like, oh, oh baby. <laughs> You like, well, that's you know how much I'm... that costs, you dirty mama. <laughs> but it was free to her, so. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's true. Yeah. And I, I, I'll tell these companies, like, straight up, man, like, when they ask me, I'm like, hey, man, honestly, I'm really just trying to push my brand. That's yeah. the only brand you'll really see me promoting yeah. on my Instagram. Yeah. Unless yeah, right. we're trying to right. send the me bag. the bag. Exactly. We, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, we get so much stuff sent that you know what you don't want to put out and yeah. how you get it. So that's why with the stuff that I'm dropping, the initial is I wanted stuff that you would actually grab and wear. Like I want things that you can go in your closet, put a fit together and then walk out the house. And that's like the base because there's so much clothes I've never worn because they just don't make sense for my lifestyle. Yeah. Or you can wear them once and then it's like, really, am I going to wear this again? Do they spark joy? Which ones? The ones that I made? The ones that are... It's still in your closet that you're not wearing. Oh no they no they're they're gonna joy. get they're gonna get given away. Oh, okay. I gotta clean them out. Okay okay. Yeah, they're, I've limited the companies I work with now to clothes that I would actually wear more than once because yeah. it just got it it got ridiculous and I don't want to tell people no, don't send it to me. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like I'm really not gonna use this. Go send it to somebody who's gonna appreciate this yeah. or end up giving it away. Hey, don't man, waste it. Take it to Buffalo Exchange, sell what it, is get that? a little, get a little wait, wait, two wait, dollars. Wait, wait, what's Buffalo Exchange? Buffalo Exchange is like a thrift store that buys clothes. Ah. So they have like cooler shit when you want to go shopping. Ooh. People like stuff they can sell. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what's up? Um, I had a <laughs> I had a goody sample hat <laughs> that like I oh, sold, shit, yeah, yeah, I sold to Buffalo Exchange, right? And one day we were watching, uh, or some when it Benji sent us a clip or some shit. It was a Comedy Central, uh, roast battle, and these two comedians. It it was it was our uh, make Obama pres again. Oh yeah, it yeah. Was, it wasn't the dad hat. It yeah, was like it was, the the more the, uh, the painter cap. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then and then all of a sudden. We seen it on Comedy Central. Damn. But dude had like put on a big old Africa patch uh, on it. Yeah. And um I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and then and then and then Rick and Benji were in the group chat like how the fuck you get this hat? I was like, oh yeah, I probably just sold it at Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one of one. <laughs> Damn, you guys did really well with a, a lot of the the championships. Cause I remember Goodies was posting up a bunch of stuff like the hats that were coming oh, out when the Lakers won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we did a how hat. those do. Fuck, those did well. Yeah. Everybody liked it. The Dodgers, not so much. I like that Dodger hat, but I feel like our our fan base just isn't right. baseball yeah. fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now the Lakers went. That shit was pretty dope. Was I like, was so happy. The timing of it, too. I was like, oh. It's like when you watch the Super Bowl and you know that one company that has the stuff already yeah. made. I was like, hey. I mean, all of that shit's already ready to go. Like when the Lakers won the finals, I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can buy this hat right now. I fucking went to NBA.com. There it was. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, that is how they do it. Boom, let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah. The hardest shit, really, I feel like is is trying to stay ahead. Uh, yeah. You know, that's mm -hmm. the hardest shit. When, cause, and we always try to get on each other like, um, all right, man, we need to be prepared for like this season. Yeah. It's, just, it's so hard to, to really be ahead like that. Yeah. But um, we got Christmas sweaters dropping. Yeah. Uh, Goodie Brand. Uh, we're, we're, at, we're at a good place right now in terms of being ahead. We got yeah. we got a bunch of shit ready to go right now. Mm -hmm. But we're going to stop that so we can make this guy's fucking Christmas sweater. I've been trying to tell him they're losing money, but I'm making these Christmas I, this, sweaters. This is going to be the test right here because I've, I personally think 
that's old. Christmas sweater? Yeah. Like, I know 2 Chains recently, well, that was, what, four years ago now, <laughs> made a ton of money off of it. Mm-hmm. I don't think people have ugly Christmas sweater parties anymore, really. And if they do, they already have their ugly Christmas sweater. But this particular one is funny. So we're going to see what happens. <laughs> Like I said, man, like I said to the group chat, yeah. people ask me for this sweater every year. And I personally love... Tim's going to be promoting well, look, the here, shit out here, of this. Here's, here's promo right He's now. He's like, yeah. don't let this flop. He's right. going to be the people like here's, making TikToks here's and shit. promo right here, right now. Yeah. We are dropping a ugly but it's cool looking <laughs> Christmas sweater. And it's funny. Y'all motherfuckers better be ready. <laughs> Prove your boy right. Hey, hey. <laughs> I love this shit. Oh, it's not even. It's not even a. Uh, we don't even have to like surprise with it because like I've you know I've. You dropped it. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. So it's it's uh it's Santa and two twerking elves and it says where the ho ho ho's at and it's very funny and um and also I want to emphasize that anybody can be hoes, women or men. <laughs> we just happen to have two ladies twerking. Uh, on the sweater, but that and those are favorite kind of hoes. Yes, those are the hoes we prefer. But anybody can be a hoe. Huh? You guys aren't discriminating <laughs> against hoes. Because look, I got so annoyed when um T chip don't steal it. Yeah, my fucking T chip. T chip. Fuck. Those are the people that bootlegged our shit. Oh, got it. Um, oh, <laughs> look and see their name. Right we now. we said um I, I either it was a video or something. I dropped something that said hoes on it, and I was like, and someone tried to come at me on some <laughs> you didn't being disrespectful to women. I'm like, bruh, who ever said, said women? Yeah. I never said women specifically when I was right. talking about some hoes. If the shoe fits, yeah, right. You just you just a hoe ass woman. Yeah, hoe ass <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Hey man, why they, they got to be bitches? <laughs> bitches, oh, yeah, men can be bitches and women can be bitches. I, I caught myself saying bitch once or like I'm a bitch and I was like, oh shit, no, don't say that, don't say that. Take it back because I was using it so frequently mm. and then people started commenting and doing the same thing. It was like, oh, so only women can call themselves bitches and if I call you a bitch, I was like, yeah, if you call me a bitch, I'm gonna punch you, yeah, period. You Stupid idiot. Uh, don't do yes. that. Here's, here's a fun fact in terms of standards and practices on, um, on TV. Um, if I was to call Rick a bitch, mm-hmm. if I was like, bitch, or are you a bitch? Um, not bleeped. Mm-hmm. If I call Nikki a bitch, bleeped. Mm-hmm. And if I probably call, a, if I go bitch, I think it gets to stay too, right? Like when you say it like not yes. directed yes. to somebody. Yes, if you don't direct it to somebody. Right. Because for the longest time, um, no, no. Yeah, because it, 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 you know, it went back and forth when I was on Wild and Out because you know, mm-hmm. I'd always say beep bitch. before I went up. Yeah. Sometimes it would get bleeped. Sometimes it wasn't towards the end. It would never get beep, bleeped unless I was talking to a lady. Mm. If I called Justina a bitch, it got to bleep. I was watching I was watching Chappelle's show uh, last night and it was interesting at what words weren't getting bleeped. And it was on Comedy Central. So there were some words that weren't getting bleeped. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm pretty positive. I remember some of these words were not allowed to be said on television. Um, well, Comedy Central has always been a little different. Like they're their own shit. Mm-hmm. They're oh well, they're like a cable network. Yeah, correct. Oh, yeah. okay. So you can get away with more shit on. You have to pay for network. it, pretty much. Yeah. Ah. Uh... I remember there was a, <laughs> it was a whole episode where it was a big deal because they were like South Park's gonna say shit and not bleep it for the first time ever, <laughs> and then the whole episode was them. They were watching TV and a show. That they were watching, someone said shit, and everyone was like, whoa. <laughs> and then Mr. Garrison, now I can't say this part, but Mr. Garrison, since he had come out as gay on the episode, he was like, now nah, I can say, he was saying the F word, uh-huh. and he was like, and I can say shit. So in, for this, I'm going to say bag instead of the word. And he was like, so I can do this. Oh, my shitty, shitty bag bag, shitty, shitty bag bag. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. And they had a little shit counter that was going off. Man, it was like 300, 400 or some shit. It was crazy. South Park definitely was one of those shows I always try to take and as yeah. far as they could. Yeah. Uh, Pointlessly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they get kind of no, preachy. They, 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 they got some points in there, but sometimes it was gratuitous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's times where I've watched it and I've been like, oh, I feel like I'm not even supposed to be watching this. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> Ugh. Um, um, American Dad does that to me too sometimes. That show's kind of weird. At, you know what? Moments. I've never been able to get into American Dad. I love American Dad. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can't go to sl- like there's I, certain I shows watch like watch either or American Dad or Family Guy. Without- Interesting. Yeah, Family. When Family Guy is on, there's some episodes where I'm like, oh, I feel a little uneasy, but I can't go to sleep watching Rick and Morty. That's a no. 
I have nightmares. Really? Like, like weird shit goes on. The show is weird. So now my brain is going to sleep thinking about weird shit. Yeah, don't you make my brain work? Right. I'm, I'm like, first off, <laughs> let me put on my meditation music real quick and clear my brain because, I, yeah. I, I was going to say, I, 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 too. I can't go to sheep. I can't, can't go to sleep. No <laughs> sleeping do not. I can't go to sleep watching Rick and Morty because I'd be just trying to, I'd be wa- paying attention because I yeah. love it. <laughs> and I can't watch Rick and Morty because I'd be on my phone too much. <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to pay attention. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so, I missed a bunch. Sh- that show is intense. Man, I love it so much. People that love Rick and Morty love Rick and Morty. Yeah, I, I really love it. They really do. <laughs> yeah, they do <laughs> be lame. <laughs> I really, I really love it. Really. And here's the thing, right? I would see like like Eric, our boy Eric. He 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 was he got into it to the point where he was like, um, who me? Okay, he got to the point where he was like he was so obsessed with it. He was buying like Halloween costumes, buying all mad merch and shit. I was like, man, what is this? Because I hadn't watched it until like maybe like season three. And then one day, I sat down and watched on a plane, mm. and I was like. This is what this is. Yeah, this I is, love this. Yeah, because you have to think when you're yeah. watching that show. I think one. Okay, here's what sold me on Rick and Morty is one of my like. <laughs> he was. Uh, long story short is they were he was he was taken hostage and he was in his brain right so his alien had Rick in his own brain because they were trying to find um, uh, a recipe for something or formula for something and they were in the like the just the inter lobes of his brain trying to figure this shit out. And Rick said something like, you know, uh, you're going to take me back. The, the day I figured I figured that out was I remember specifically because it was right after um, 9-11. Right. And then, um, <laughs> and then so they, they go to that. So later in the episode, they go to that moment where he figures out um, the, the recipe for it. And um, and then in the background, when they went to the next seed, you hear Rick on the phone just being like, no, no, you don't understand. Bush, Bush is behind this. <laughs> And like, Fuck. and he was saying some conspiracy, and I was like, "This is, I love this." Right yeah, now. yeah. But Chia hates it, of course. She can't get into it because because the voices are unpleasant. Uh, yeah, the yeah. She says the voices are unpleasing to her ears, and that's why she can't listen to it. And it Idiot. really bothers me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fucking Canuck ears. <laughs> just, I, I would tell her, get the fucking maple syrup out of that. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. And whenever I watch Bob's Burgers, they go, did Tim put you on? I was like, bitch, I've been watching this. <laughs> every time, they're like, Tim put you on that, huh? I'm like, you know, I haven't known him for as long as the show's Bruh. been out. So, you know, I did watch it. People before. are stupid. <laughs> that's my shit. But I do. That's when Bob's Burgers has become the I don't want to think show. You know, like there's something that you can put on and it's just going to play and it makes you happy. And it's in the background. I've, I've just started playing Bob's Burgers yeah. on repeat in my house because uh, the news has been a lot <laughs> and just life has been a lot. I'm like, you know what? Let's watch Linda just in her fun little <laughs> selfie, a wine alcoholic and I'm a drink with her. So we're if you fuck around and think while you watch it. Bob's Burger, you go catch some shit. Yes, <laughs> yeah. you will. They got some shit on. So that so that's the thing about Bob's Burgers, right? It's great for background. Great because like it's also one of those. Gene is hilarious. Yeah, by it's the way. one of those where you'll be chilling, doing some shit, and then you catch someone say something, <laughs> mm-hmm. and you're like, "Yo, uh, that was hilarious." Yeah, yeah. Gene's uh, little Gene's little puns are the best. I love it so much. Yeah, he's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I just found another one, not a cartoon, but a show like that where it's just there, and then you hear some shit, and you're like, "Oh, what the fuck." Young Sheldon. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was on ABC? Uh, Yeah, well, I'm watching on HBO okay. now. But yeah, because mm. I was just like, I, we have all these shows that I have to watch with my girlfriend. Yeah. So when she's gone, I can't watch anything. So I have to find I other <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, all right, I guess I can put on Young Sheldon. <laughs> you just don't go straight to Chopped? Huh? Uh, uh, no, I've I've already done Chopped, and Master Chef is one of the shows that I have to watch it with her. Ah, started all the way from the beginning, bro. There's a show <laughs> on Netflix if you like shit like that, um, called The Final Table. Mm. Oh, you watch this shit? Yes. Yo, this shit's great. Uh, yeah. Cooking competition, and I watch like I be watching the shots they get and the budget on this. It's like, bro. First of all, the fucking the the whole setup. Is like it looks like they're on the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. I'm like, this shit got budget, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's man. like chopped with like a fucking movie budget. Because I be looking at the cameras, I'm like, what are they shooting this shit on, dog? It's iPhone tight. 12. 
<laughs> Chef's table is really good too. All the slow motion shots that they get of the food, you just be sitting there mm. like. Yeah. I, I watched that Ooh. one because it's like 4K Ultra HD. So I'm like, beautiful. Right, make my what I spent on this TV make sense. Oh, so right. I watch. I'll be watching shit. food shows and I'll be like, damn, that looks good. There's like literally nothing else I watch that probably makes me as excited than watching food shows. And the all the dessert shows are really pretty. All the dessert shows on there. Can't get, I, I, you know, I rarely will tune into a dessert show. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a dessert person. Mm. Huh. I, I like, what's what's the one? Cupcake Wars? Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. are funny. Like uh, those. Or Nailed It. Nailed It's pretty hilarious. Oh, is that like nails and shit? No. No. Oh. We're talking about, <laughs> wow, I'm on topic <laughs> like you today. Recreate, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> oh, that. I'm on topic today. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about shit that's relevant to our conversation. Oh. Cupcake Wars, Halloween Wars, or some shit like that. There's so many episodes. Yeah. Love it. I like those. All right, y'all. Well, mm-hmm. thanks for watching this episode of the No Chaser Podcast. Absolutely nothing came out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talked about hemorrhoids. Right. Merch. Uh, mer- oh, yeah. Good. good. We dropped some knowledge on y'all. Yeah. Oh, but wait, real quick, real quick, quick tangent. Speaking about dropping knowledge. Have you used this fucking app, the uh 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 the one that everyone's using, uh where, where you're talking? Um, the fuck, the invite only one. Um, the one where you're talking and shit. Um, uh, Clubhouse. You no. have to be invited to that, bro. It's <laughs> such, <laughs> I hate it. You have to be invited to. Cl- yeah, yeah, you, you have to. Yeah. I'm a, We're not cool. We're not no. cool. I'm gonna I'm invite I you heard, guys into this. Heard about so it? So you can you can share this hatred with me because I already hate it, bro. <laughs> it's like I, I was like, what the fuck is this? It's and like then, yelling. It's like it's a group voice chat room. With people you don't know. But you can pick the rooms and the topics and the and the moderators of each room. Yeah, like I can understand why, like, okay, so like, okay, so spectacular. Like mm-hmm. he does a lot, right? And someone uh I know was in Spectacular's room and after he listened to that shit and the discussion, he was like, Damn, I just got some free game right now. It's like mm-hmm. So I get that. It's if the, you go in for that purpose, it's like TED Talk amongst people, but you gotta be invited. See, that's the thing is that most of the people that are in these rooms are somebody's already because yeah. it's not for the general public yet and i don't think it ever will be here's that would what be I, just I way be, yeah. yeah it'd be way too much it doesn't and, make sense and that's what i thought and here's what i fucking hated bro i was like let me just go lurk around mm. and just see if i can get into this shit i went into a random room that said like bay area we shaking the table something like that right mm-hmm. and i'm like let me see what they're talking about i click in i hear people making jokes laughing and then i hear Ooh. no i hear <laughs> i hear yo did timothy the ghetto just come here yeah, you're not hidden, and and yeah, it's not hidden because not. They, you see everyone in the, and they were like, nah, they're like, no, yo, he's in here, and I was like, oh, God, how do I? And I, then I was trying to figure out how to say something, and I couldn't figure it out, and I just <laughs> left because I, I hate this shit, bro. Hilarious. <laughs> so then it looks like I was like, yeah. like all right, <laughs> he's probably in here hating on the bay, exactly. You know oh, how to L- LA cats be. <laughs> No, they they all were probably losing their shit. I've seen I've seen how people reacted to him in the Bay. <laughs> you can't hide him. Mad love in the Bay. Shout out to they the love Bay. him. Shout out to everybody yes. In the Bay. Shout out to everybody that's listening. Thank you guys mm-hmm. so much for your support. Thank you for listening to the No Chaser podcast. I'm Tim Chantaranzu. I'm Ricky Shut. I'm Nikki Blades. Bye.